Thank you, everybody. Sorry for the uh, late start. Uh, I appreciate everybody being here. I'm Ian Ramsdell. I am the founder and CEO of Kupros, and I'm excited for our webinar this week because uh, we uh, have gone through the necessary steps to uh, uh, make sure that uh, we could get the inventor of our technology, Harrison Holmes, here on the webinar with us. So uh, thank you, Harrison, for joining us today. We appreciate uh, you uh, being able to become part of it. I know we had to go through uh, certain steps to make sure that uh, you could speak to us as uh, as from your role as a uh, a researcher and scientist at uh, at NAVC Crane. And so uh, please, Harrison, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you grew up, what schools you went to, and uh, let us know a little bit about yourself. All righty, can you hear me? Yep, now we have you on. Thank you, Harrison. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Harrison Holmes. I'm here representing NSWC Crane. I'm originally from Vincennes, Indiana. I've lived there for most of my life, and I went to school uh, at the local uh, community schools, and then went to high school in Washington at Washington Catholic. And then my parents were professors at Vincennes University, so I went two years there and then did three years up at IUPUI for biomedical engineering. And I took the specialty of uh, electronics. So I focused hard into the electrical engineering uh, to make, my, make myself more valuable to a potential employer. Uh, right out of uh, college, I got hired on at NSWC Crane uh, as part of their uh, technology protection. And I've worked as a additive manufacturing subject matter expert, as well as a reverse engineer for obsolescence. Thank you, Harrison. Uh, that's quite a background and quite an education. Uh, uh, you, your, your education in biomedical, uh, I know you have, you have a specialty in electronics and electrical impulses. How did NAVC Crane put this to good use? So back when I got hired on, the Navy was looking into hiring a bunch of biomedical engineers for the purpose of additive manufacturing. You'll find a lot of us scattered throughout the, the Navy working in uh, different forms of additive manufacturing because thinking behind it is, well, you have all these exotic materials, i.e. tissues and things like that, and you have the mechanical and the electrical background to work with these things that it's not a far leap to start uh, applying yourself to the field of additive manufacturing rather than to the field of biomedical. 